It's time to vote for your April Ride of the Month. Vote A for Ryan Moore's From the Front effort on Heavenly Holly at Lingfield. Breaking smartly from the stalls, Moore and Heavenly Holly found themselves in the lead very early in the Phillies and Mares final. Still wants the catch turning for home, Moore shook the filly up and asked for a final kick to extend their lead and she duly obliged, securing a Good Friday victory thanks to an astute ride. But it looks like Ryan Moore may have slipped them here. Heavenly Holly by three legs, a few rushing home, including Isle of Life, but too late. A great ride. Heavenly Holly holds on the whip. Vote B for Grace McEntee's resolute ride aboard contingency fee at Brighton. Racing prominently, the pair got a narrow lead over five furlongs out. With two left to run, McEntee started to urge her partner as the pair faced the challenge from Ross Ryan. Responding to the urges from the seven-pound claimer, the horse rallied for one final burst to record what was a second of three successes in ten days. Contingency fee fighting it out on this stand side, followed by Miss Havana. His contingency fee just from Mongolia. Contingency fee just from Ireland. Vote C for Charlie Todd's miraculous effort aboard Lancillo Lord at Fakenham. After nearly being unseated at the third flight, the five-pound claimer performed wonders to keep the partnership intact and temporarily losing his irons. Stalking the leaders throughout the contest, Todd and his mount were primed to strike and made their move and got to the head of affairs after jumping the second last. Despite an errant jump at the last, the pair stuck to their task to record the win. And Lancello Lord is coming away to win it and it's a fine ride by 18-year-old Charlie Todd. In second place, Sirius Marivier, and in third, Alibiak. Vote D for Sylvester D'Souza's determined effort on companion at Yarmouth. Settling in behind the leaders, D'Souza put himself in a fine position throughout this five furlong contest. Inside the two, the champion jockey shook his mount up to challenge Godolphin's quiet place, where a fantastic battle ensued with D'Souza and his charge showing a never-say-die attitude to win on the nod. Endless Joy is going to have to raise her game here. Quiet Place is in front to Endless Joy and Companion. Still Quiet Place, Companion coming hard, far side in the red colours. Quiet Place and Companion very close. Very tight between Quiet Place and Companion. Vote E for Josephine Gordon's last to first ride on Sea Sculpture at Wolverhampton. Not breaking particularly well, the pair found themselves at the rear of the field, with Gordon scrubbing her partner along very early on and finding themselves several lengths off the back markers and still being chased along with five furlongs remaining. Slowly closing the gap, turning for home, Gordon switched to the outside and with Sea Sculpture responding to her urgings, they got to the head of affairs to win by a length. Sea Sculpture's beginning to muster some speed down the outside and Mockham Alley's in big trouble here and Sea Sculpture under Josephine Gordon is coming through on the outside from last to first with a steady run in the home straight to win going away. To vote for your Ride of the Month, visit attheraces.com forward slash ride. <laughs>